like this, she was sitting one day at her desk in her school in her usual way, when she felt a small twitch on the top of her head. So Maisie looked up and she almost dropped dead. Something peculiar was going on there. A daisy was sprouting right out of her hair. Boing! A daisy's gonna boing up. Boing. Behind her was sitting young Herman Butch Strudel. This looked, it, this looks like a daisy up here on her noodle. It doesn't make sense why it, it couldn't be so. A noodle's no place for a daisy to grow. Then up spoke another boy, Einstein Van Tass, the brightest young boy in the whole of the class. It's a very odd place to be sprouting a daisy, but nonetheless, one is growing on Maisie. Hey, look it, cried Butch, right here in this room. Daisy had Maisie, she's bursting in bloom. Oh man, what do you think, what do you think she's feeling right now? Sad. Sad, what do you think? Sad. Yeah, scared maybe. Good Friday morning, it is Holly from the Record Archives. Tressa Snyder, a reference librarian at Teal College, is reading Daisy Had Maisie, a Dr. Seuss story to kindergartners at Commodore Perry. The teacher said, Butch, I saw the thing rise right out of her head with my very own eyes. Just give it a The events are part of the annual Read Across America, including the observance here at Commodore Perry. Miss Nature had heard quite enough of 